The first ideas about the sleeve valve engine started at around 1901 to 1902 when a guy named Charles Yells Knight was annoyed by noisiness of a poppet valve unit. In fact, they were prone to carbonization and needed a valve adjustment, grinding or even a replacement even just after a couple of thousand miles. He believed he could have made it better and quieter, and he did. After a few years of research, development and concept models, in 1906 an introduction of the Silent Night Touring Car took place at Chicago Auto Show using a 40 horsepower 4 cylinder engine. He patented a twin sliding sleeve valve system using a set two individual sleeves inside the cylinder. They are kind of like moving cylinder liners one inside the other with holes as ports allowing air to go in and exhaust to go out. The piston was as usually driven by a crankshaft and the sleeves moved up and down at a different rate actuated by small connecting rods via eccentric shaft. Three years later in 1909 the Bartmet Colum alternative was patented using a gear driven single sleeve valve. Amongst its advantages besides the quieter running were much higher mileages without servicing. This could have not been said about the puppet valve engines back then which is why the sleeve valve got popular in automobiles like Willys, Daimler, Mercedes-Benz, Minerva, Panhard and Peugeot and aircraft with engines by Napier, Bristol and Rolls-Royce. These power plants were said to have higher volumetric efficiency due to the large port openings while thermal and mechanical efficiency were also improved. There was no complicated head, no valve springs and therefore no valve load. The combustion chamber with the sleeve atop the center was ideal for complete and detonation free combustion while the single sleeve design offered a great exhaust scavenging. One of the advantages were also cooler operating temperatures and higher longevity. The carbon buildup was not an issue in the night engine, in fact it improved sealing between the sleeves. Ironically, the sealing was one of its main problems as braking was not really possible due to the often rotating sleeve valves as opposed to the up and down only moving pistons. The night unit liked to consume oil which was fortunately improved by the single sleeve design although the oil consumption and cylinder assembly lubrication were never sold in the series production. Aero engines were often unable to rev over 3000 rpm but there was a Hewland race car revving all the way up to 10k. But the thing that more or less killed sleeve valve engines was an improvement of gasoline octane which helped the puppet valve units to take over. Some of the most popular of them are Bristol Hercules and Kentaurus, Napier Sabre and Rolls Royce Eagle. All of them are 4 stroke but Rolls Royce also created a unique experimental 2 stroke 90 degree V12 using sleeve valve and direct injection system in 1941 called Creasy. I've been tired.